here. All you gotta do is hit subscribe. Oh, this one up. All you gotta do is hit subscribe. Join my family. I would love to have you. I think I'm dope. I hope y'all think I'm dope. Anyway, so I just had to come back a little really quick story time, you guys. So me and Matthew were on the highway um headed back home from charlotte because he had a drunk move job to do there and we're on the way this seat felt about damn choke me jesus oh, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> um yeah, I'm gonna put these but yeah um we just got finished doing the jump well he just got finished doing the jump move job and i rode with him and um we were headed yeah, back like south 77 now. south headed back towards rock hill and i could not get that tag number for nothing but it was a white man, not still, you know, racism done, but white man, he had a black cap, he was driving a white Chevy truck. And he was behind us. And I tell you guys, he was speeding up like this close from hitting us. And then he would slow all the way down. Then he would swerve over in this lane, swerve over in that lane to where the other cars are like throwing on brakes in the highway. Um, or they're swerving around him, speeding past him. And I don't know, just like I've seen crazy drivers before, but normally I don't do anything. Um, so I told Matthew, I said, he's behind us. I said, we, it was a, it's a four-lane highway. I told Matthew, I said, we need to get over in the lane over there, like two lanes over, because I don't want him to hit us from the back or, you know, to hit or hurt us. And so, I don't know. I just felt in my spirit to call, like, I've seen crazy. I've seen one driver that was sleep damn near um, on the highway, but I didn't call for, for that. But I don't know, just something in my spirit just felt like I needed to call in on that guy. And I don't know if that's going to save somebody's life. I don't know if him doing, you know, me doing that could save somebody. But like I said, I don't know if he's sleepy. I don't know if he's drunk. I don't know if he owned something stronger than the edible. But I don't know. I just feel like I did a good deed today by calling because that's dangerous. Like, you own 77. If y'all from the 77 area, then you know. 77 is the worst highway damn near. So, to be doing that on that highway, yeah, that was crazy. And then the cops wanted me to stay on the phone with them. I was like, I'm getting off my exit. He's still going down. Y'all need to get some type of patrol cars and chase him. Um, so, yeah, it was crazy, though. But... I just hope he don't hit nobody, hope he don't kill nobody, hope he don't hurt himself, and that they can catch up with him and pull him over and see what's going on and get that taken care of. Because when you driving like that, you put somebody else's mother, sister, brother, cousin, wife, boyfriend, whatever, at risk. So, 